Hello, families. I love spending time with my family, but I would really like to spend a whole day with the band Johnny Swim. I really like their songs. I may never get to spend time with them, but I know someone famous who I can always spend time with. God. Our Bible point today is God is always with us. Let's find out a time people in the Bible realize that. First, we will start with praise and worship. Then Mr. David is going to bring us the Bible story. Afterwards, we are going to do an experiment with Miss Monique. Finally, I will come back to wrap it up. But before we do anything else, let's pray. God, we thank you for everyone here. We ask that you strengthen our faith in you through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Here and he is free. 
Worship Him together. Worship Him forever. Look at what He's done. He gave it all for us. Can you feel it in your heart? Deep down in your soul, let the love of God move you, change you, raise your eyes to see the one who gave us all so What is up, everyone? It's good to have you with us. Today's Bible point is God is always with us. Have you ever felt alone? Turn and talk with your adult about a time where you felt alone and scared. I recall a time when I was younger, I was afraid of the dark. It made me feel alone and I couldn't see. I would cover myself with my blankets from my bed so that way I felt safe. In today's story, we will meet someone who also felt alone and scared. It started with two countries that kept fighting, Israel and Aram. Israel was full of God's chosen people, including a prophet named Elisha. A prophet is someone who God gives messages to so he can tell other people. The king of Aram made top secret military plans, but God told Elijah what those plans were. Then Elijah spread the message to his king so the Israelite army would be able to avoid losing. The king of Aram was at war with Israel. He talked things over with his officers. Then he said, I'm going to set up my camp in a certain place. Elisha, the man of God, sent a message to the king of Israel. Elisha said, Try to stay away from that place. Aram's army is going to be down there. The king of Israel checked on the place the man of God had told him about. Time after time, Elisha warned the king, so the king was on guard in those places. Look at that. In battle, you get a big advantage if you can sneak up on your enemy. The army of Aram couldn't do any sneaking because God told their plans to Elisha every time. The king of Aram was getting suspicious and thought someone from his army was not loyal to him. All of that made the king of Aram very angry. He sent for his officers. He said to them, tell me, which of you is on the side of the king of Israel? You are my king and master said one of the officers. None of us is on Israel's side, but Elisha is a prophet in Israel. He tells the king of Israel even the words you speak in your own bedroom. 
When the king of Aram found out about Elisha, he wanted to have him captured. He heard from one of his men where Elijah and his servant were. Go and find out where he is, the king ordered. Then I can send my men and capture him. The report came back. The officer said, he's in Dothan. Then the king sent horses and chariots and a strong army there. They went at night and surrounded the city. The servant of the man of God got up the next morning. He went out early. He saw that an army of horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my master, the servant said, what can we do? Do you remember when I asked you when was a time you, were, you felt alone and scared? Well, Elisha's servant felt that here. He woke up in the morning and found a huge army surrounding the city. They couldn't escape. What would you do if you were in that situation? Turn and talk with your adult. Personally, I would start digging a tunnel under the ground to escape. But Elijah had a different plan. Listen to this. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Elisha prayed, Lord, Open my servant's eyes so he can see. Then the Lord opened his eyes. Elisha's servant looked up and saw the hills. He saw that Elijah was surrounded by horses and chariots made of fire. Elijah knew that he wasn't alone, and after he prayed, even his servant was able to see they weren't alone. God is always with us. This story ends up with Elijah showing kindness to the entire army of Aram by feeding them and caring for them. And from that point forward, neither Israel nor Aram would fight against one another. You know, maybe you've never been surrounded by an angry army, and maybe you've never seen a fiery chariot. This story could help us to remember that God is with us. If we get lost in the store, if we are awake in the middle of the night in our dark bedroom, or even if we sit alone at lunch, we can always remember that God is always with us. Families, it was great sharing this story with you. In just a minute, some questions are going to come up on the screen. Please use them to further this discussion. See you soon. was a cool story. I would have loved to be there when the servants saw the angel army with horses and chariots on fire. Let's see what Miss Monique is up to and how her experiment will help us further understand that God is always with us. Hello everyone! Today we learned from the Bible about when God showed Elisha that God is always with us, even if we can't see him. There are a lot of things we can't see, but we know are real and all around us. Let's experiment with something we can't see, but we experience a lot. Wind. Here I have a fan and a special item. Now I'm going to turn on the fan. Can you see the wind? No, we can't. Oh my God. Here I have a fan and a special item. Now I'm going to turn on the fan. Can you see the wind? No, we can't. But if I use my special item, you can see the wind from the fan. Ah! Using just one item, we get to experience wind. We were able to see it. Most of the time, wind is invisible. You can feel it, you can hear it. But when it's mixed with something else, you can see it. Even though our eyes might not always tell us so, God is always with us. 
Some questions are going to come up on the screen. This is a great opportunity to talk about God always being with us. Have fun in your discussion. is always with us. We can rely on God being there for us in the good times, the not so good times, and everything in between. Family, it was so good to see you. We invite you to stay connected with us via our Instagram and Facebook pages. You can find us by searching at KLCC Kids. If you have already downloaded our Kingdom Life app, be sure to turn on Kingdom Kids notifications. And if you have not downloaded it, do it today. It's available in both the Apple and Google Play stores. Thank you so much for joining us and can't wait until next time. Bye.